Hi everybody, welcome anyway, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. To Tomb Raider. We're raiding tombs. This is not <laughs> no tomb that I... Well, it's a tomb now because there's a bunch of dead people in it, but... Yeah. This ain't mine. Before... It's a tomb. Before I... Before you got here, sorry. Yeah. It was oh not shit, they're tomb. coming out of the fucking ceiling. Wall sprinters. Yeah. Speaking what were you that, saying? <laughs> uh, speaking of that, hopefully everyone enjoyed AGDQ. I don't know if uh, this is way outdated for that. Yeah, because we we watched it outdated. Well, I watched it during. Oh, you except did? I didn't watch all of them during. I only watched the Borderlands one. I don't one look at because last during. year. Yeah, um, look, because last night you mean? Yeah, last night. Yeah. What did I say? Last year. That's when it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then part of Undertale, I guess. Yeah. But I was. If, I was out. If of nobody it by really then. watches AGDQ. Uh, watch it. Awesome Games Done Quick is a great cause for when it comes on next year. It happens like twice a year, once a year. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Whenever Awesome Games Done Quick happens, I usually tweet about it. Um, yeah. D watch it. It's so fucking funny. Um, and also just like, it's amazing to see like w what they do to fucking break games to just like make them yeah. like, be able to speed run it. Um, it is interesting, yeah. Yeah, I find it kind of cool with modern games, because I'm like, I usually expect them to be like a little bit more clean, but I might as well. It's more interesting for me for games that I'm very familiar with, like yeah. Borderlands 2, um, just because like I have more of a context of either what they're doing, or just like how the game is normally supposed to go. Okay. So, it, it just kind of makes it a bit more interesting for me, yeah. I guess. Like, I'm always hey, interested in seeing people like speed run, like very like story driven games and just like yeah. skip as much of that shit as they possibly can yeah and like just like avoid that kind of stuff um mostly because that's the way i play through games yeah. is avoid sto avoid everything except like for some reason the witcher like the witcher i want to like do everything in well it's um, I mean, it, it's a heavily story based game like i don't know why you would play it without wanting the story it's not that I don't want the story in the game. It's that yeah. it's just that sometimes you know, sometimes I want to do other things more than I want to do others. Yeah. Um. Because like you know, there there is there is some elements of me that are just like, oh yeah, I want to get deep into the story, and I'm sometimes like, the story's stupid. I just don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, it depends on the how I yeah. feel the story. Also, it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm just not feeling uh like being like. A compelling story like I just yeah. want to play something that doesn't have a story like or that like something I don't have to pay as much attention to I yeah. can just kind of mindlessly play I mean you already bought the game why not pay attention <laughs> well I, I still do that too I kind of like a, when games have both a double purchase thing it was a oh, purchase yeah. the game and paying attention yeah I, I, I see what you did there thanks man yeah thanks for the confident boost and jokes <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do that, man. <gasps> ah. Oh no! Random dude, uh. I thought he was trying to, like, throw himself off with, like, her. I was like. I was, like That's an aggressive, like. You want her to die so bad that you'll take yourself out. Yeah. Kudos I'm... for you for the commitment, but. Yeah, you know. It's, uh. It's, for, it's all for the greater good, it's all for the cause. Yeah. I think there's an achievement to shoot one out of the air. Out of his hand? Oh, right here. How does him shoot in his hand? No. Or maybe it was that. There's there's an achievement to do something. Who the fuck was that Ezio looking motherfucker with a white hood up? Oh, you know. I like Assassin's Creed. Oh, no. Well, now it's a red hood. Yeah. Batman. <laughs> Batman, you know, there was, must have been all, multiple things with red hoods. Yeah, and it, there's probably the were. Coats, and then there must be red hoods. More red hoods. Um, Where do these guys get their fucking matching outfits from? They all look like they're... Like they all like went to probably. fucking JCPenney's. They probably they went to the... either a thrift store or just like... Oh, oh um, there's probably like... Do you think there's like a bad guy like merch store? Where it's like, only bad guys shop here. And it's like, oh, we could get our outfit. <laughs> you just like, you know, <laughs> like a fucking Tommy Hilfiger for a henchman. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite um, outfit, like, uniforms for a team or a group in, like, a video game? The Monarchs Men. And that's not a video game, but the Monarchs Men from oh. uh, 
Uh, okay, we'll open it up to not just games. Yeah, if it was games, I have another one. Okay. But for a uh, TV show, uh, The Venture Brothers, there's, there's a villain called the ah! Monarch. Um, and his henchmen uh, all dress like... They dress like... Like, yeah. Like butterflies. Okay. Like monarch butterflies. Um, but, yeah. Uh, him and his henchmen uh, for that. What okay. Do you, do you have any? What? Oh, Favorite um. Henchmen? Dress? Wear? Um. You know what? I didn't actually think of this. Like, one of the, one that comes to mind, like, my more recent one that I've been a big fan of is Team Skull. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I just, I really love Team Skull. They're hilarious to me. Um, oh. uh, just because like y their their outfits look yeah. so shitty. Like they look like parts of it are like okay. duct taped. Like nice. like it looks like they just got like regular shirts and then just like drew on or taped on the like skull. Okay. Um, beyond that, can't think of. I really like Team Magma's outfits. Um, I like how all of them had like a shawl. I I pref I liked Aqua's better overall actually, um, for some reason. Um, I guess I'm just used to have having them as like on my team since I played um, Sapphire, so I was against. Uh, uh Sapphire had both actually. Well, I know they had like Magma, but with Sapphire and Emer Sapphire and Ruby, you're either with one of them or against oh. one of the other. Okay. With I knew they're both. I knew they were both in it. Yes, I they're just both didn't in it. Just, um, yeah. So with I think with Sapphire, you're <coughs> with Team Magma, or you're against Team Magma. I can't fucking remember. Yeah. Um. But whatever one, Team Magma's outfits looked. I I think they looked pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like wanted like a little too warm for Team Magma though. But nah, yeah. Yeah. You know. I just liked that. Um, Team Aqua. They just looked like pirates. Yeah. Basically, they were. They wanted to. Uh, um, oh. Fill the entire world Hello. with water. Right? Yeah. They just wanted if to make they it were water the world. Enemies, if they were the enemies. Um, yeah. And then Team Magma wanted to get rid of all the water. Have, like, land mass everywhere. Yeah. Um, what if the ones that you're working... If the, if you're working for them, what they is... They see the other as tyrants and don't want them to complete their goal. Okay, so they don't want to do their goal either? Yes, they don't want to do their goal, basically. They're, yeah. like, they're like, I wanted this, but not this. Oh, okay. Like, so I'm going to fight so they don't do it, and they see your cause as just whatever. Okay, so yeah. kind of the same that Ruby and Sapphire work with, but you are more directly working with them, I guess? Because, like, in a couple parts in Ruby and Sapphire, like, you see the two teams fighting each other. Yeah, you mean Omega and Alpha? Uh, I am talking about Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. No, I thought you were talking about um, Emerald. No, I was talking about losing Sapphire. Because oh. I said if you're in Sapphire, you're either with Magma or against them. I can't remember which one. Uh, Sapphire is against Aqua. Okay. And then Ruby is against Magma. Yeah. But, okay, yeah. No, now I know what you're getting at. Yeah. So I don't know what Emerald is. I know they're both in Emerald. Uh, yeah, I have no fucking idea. I never played, um... Oh shit, is this, uh, one of the dudes from Borderlands? Yeah, yeah. Tape to so, shield? bad man. Yeah, it's a man. Um, it's also a juggernaut from Call of Duty. All right, right. Um, Remember that was a thing. Oh yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it's still a thing, but it still is. Yeah. Um, Ow! But in uh, India, I never played that much. Like I never. All my friends had it, or some of my friends had it. Yeah. Friend. One of my, one of that's supposed to be the best one for Gen Three, like really? that I I hear most people I hear it's say like that really like something really cool like in it. I can't remember the way that it does the gyms or whatever. I Apparently don't cool. know. I just know like it was. Oh, one of two bull parts. It was a uh, diff. Part, part. You know, actually, I don't want to try and say anything about Emerald because I I probably am wrong. What do you think? Well, it's mine as well as what you think. Yeah, like, I know it involves Rayquaza, um, which the other ones don't have. So, but, like, I think it would still involve um, the other, like, um, Kyogre and Groudon. Groudon, yeah. Since Rayquaza is, like, the, the force that stops those two. Yeah. Well, I mean, Rayquaza was in um, Ruby and Sapphire. Was he? Yeah, you can catch him. Oh, okay. He's level 70. I know he has, like, a more significant role than yeah. in Emerald, because, like, I mean, he's on the 
cover of it. And yeah. It's kind of like with um, Crystal, where, like, Suicun, for reasons I'm still not sure of, um, it has, like, a its own kind of yeah. story it's, with it. It's tied to your character somehow. Yeah. Which I'm I'm still not sure how it's going to be, but we will find out. Uh, I know how it happens, because I've played Crystal before. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that was an evident. Um... But yeah, no, it's a, it's weird. The, 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 I like the, how there was always fucking three in the series. Like, there's like yeah, I'm I'm yeah, kind of sad the they stopped one. doing that. Yeah, um, they stopped that with like black and white. Yeah, though and at the, the same no time, like rip gray version. I'm kind of um like I I like that they the had piece. the direct sequels. What about um, two? Yeah, like I I kind of like that there was a direct sequel. You know, I never played them so. I don't know if they're any good. I liked Black and White too, but I didn't like Black and White. Yeah, and like I kind of actually would be, I would be interested in a Sun and Moon direct sequel, just because I liked the characters and the story so much that like I want to see more. Okay. Of it. Well, it was like that's what kind of like Sun and that's what kind of like um uh, Black Two, I think is the one that I had opened yeah. it up more, Oops. and you just felt like you could do more in the world. Um, yeah. You went to places differently. You got um, Pokemon you actually get, your gems yeah, earlier. Yeah. yeah, that was the one thing that some people weren't a big fan of, yeah. was the fact that it was only Gen 5 stuff um, in the first ones. Mm. Let's do that. But yeah, it was... I don't know. I liked it. Oh, wait. I can do both. Yeah. Perfect. Um... I don't know, I just like them I both. Just, I find them both yeah. like decent Pokemon games overall. I, I wish, uh, I, I would like to play them. I've, because I never owned a regular DS, so oh, okay. I, I that was during my period where I was not playing Pokemon games. Gotcha. Also, I hate this part of the game. The Climbing Tower? Yeah, I, I get Vertigo oh, okay. from it. You just Far Cry 3 all over again. Yeah, I didn't like those either. <laughs> Also, this one's just like a bit more like it has like the wobbling yeah, the thing going shake on and pretty hard. Um, if you're on PC, you can get rid of the camera shake. Shut up the PC. Wait, it said like move your body or something. Move your body. Move your body. Bring it back, My boys. Come Rival sixty five. Rival sixty five did a Let's Play channel. I watched them exclusively. Oh. Obviously. I would unsubscribe to every Let's Play channel that I have now. And <laughs> including only, this one? Including this one. And only yeah. watch theirs. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Ah. Because they would obviously be the, the king of the Let's Play. Yeah, obviously. They may not have invented it, but they definitely refined it to a fucking art. Also, um, it's just... It's like 65. Like, yeah. they could do anything. They, they could do anything. They could repaint over Bob Ross paintings. And, and I still fucking yeah. watch them. And they'd be like, these guys are geniuses. These guys are... Like, ugh, this... For the record, I hate heights. I mean, you can just look away. Yeah, For but... Parts like that where <laughs> the camera sweeps down. Alright. Then you're not seeing it. Yeah. Why does the camera gotta look at her butt? Oh, uh, you know. <coughs> now it doesn't really give you the choice to look away. Yeah, so. and also, like, this is, like... I just, like, I just start thinking about, like, what that would be like in real life to do this. Like, you're insane. I this is insanity. Because it's a video game, and I use it to escape reality. I don't know. I, I sometimes think about, like, what what it would feel like to do this in real life. Especially things like that. Well, no, fuck that. <laughs> like, no, I would never, I would never do that. Uh, yeah. Um... I mean, the worst that I can do is probably go on a drop zone tower. Okay. Yeah. Tower You're not afraid of heights, though, are you? Uh, you know, massive heights, yes. Okay. Um, I'm sure everybody probably is kind of... Yeah. Would, the higher the height, the more likely they're going to feel kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. We got everything crossed for you down here, LC. LC? Bullcrap. Yeah. What Yo. up, LC? LC! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, mm. There we go. 
Mayday, Mayday. This is Lara Croft of the Endurance. Hell yeah. On an in the there is no microphone on that thing. <laughs> This is aircraft Nautilus 177 Alpha. Searching for you since the distress call. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go fuck oh, yourself, the Trans Triangle. We've not been there in years. We're not going back. Last time we went there, we had too spicy of curry and it burnt Timmy's mouth. We ain't coming back there for shit. Good luck on your left. We'll drop a raft off at your North Point location. That's all we're doing. You're lucky we're even doing that. Also, the raft has a... Uh, a, a little note on it. Uh, please sue the people that's, uh, that's uh, had that curry. There was no spicy warning on it. Burnt mouth for years. Also, I'm a trucker from from America. I'm a trucker from Arizona. Can't really I'm actually shit, I'm actually driving a truck right now. Yeah. I don't know why you're calling me. I'm sorry. I just I just wanted to kind of go along with this and that I, I I I see you're probably in trouble. So best of luck with your trouble, miss. But, uh, I'm probably wasting your time from an actual person broadcasting to you. But <laughs> it was fun. Ah, right, good night, miss. Have a good day. <laughs> Crazy lady thinks she was on top of a tower. Oh. Hey, there ain't no towers in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> you know there could be, but uh, I'm sure there's towers in Arizona. No. If you're from Arizona, um, come in if there's towers. Yeah. Also comment if there isn't. Yeah. Alright. What kind of bullshit do you think this is? A video game. <laughs> this fucking Laura Croft isn't this shit. You saying this gun causes spark bullshit? Yet it's a... Uh, I can shoot an arrow into yeah. an explosive oh, barrel. Oh, sweet. Now I got that. Do you know what does cause a spark? The initial shot of your muzzle flash. So if you went next to it, yeah. you could probably spark it. That's super safe. I never said it wasn't. <laughs> you know, I was just simply saying that uh, that's that you can uh, muzzle flash it. Can you yeah. chuck and fuck your torch? Huck and chuck your yeah. torch. Huck your fucking touch and your torque. Whoa. You know. Don't talk about my torque like that. <laughs> walk <laughs> through it. Don't hey. worry. I was kind of hoping I would do like the whole walking away from it without turning around, but it seems like there's a storm coming. Oh, no one leaves. Um, huh? It is coming right for me. Oh fuck, berries. Well, hey, is that my character in Just Cause Two? Uh, it very well could be. Oh, there's there's a plane engine. What is this, Donnie Darko? Donnie's plane call engine? Yeah. They don't build planes at these. No, they really don't. They used to be able to handle... Handle three kind of... lightning bolts at least! Yeah. They don't make them like they used to. Oh, yeah. They ain't what used to be. I'm going this way. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Aww, I missed it. I want to go up. Who needs to go up when you could go the opposite? When you can go, fuck me. Ah! Don't make them like they used to. Yep. Oh, she's all dirty again. God damn it, Bora. <laughs> Her clothes are in pretty good condition, considering. She's got a rip. That's it? No. Oh. Ah, how do you control this thing? Yeah, I've never done this. All right, next time I die, please. We'll, we'll go find a pilot. Yeah, then not the delicious place that sells amazing coffee. That's Ooh. actually now in Canada. I just uh, I the top thing was like pilot now coming to Canada. Oh, oh sweet, right? And not just at like Flying J. No, and not just at a Flying J, like an actual pilot. So okay. I might want to go there for coffee, which sounds really weird. Ooh, I'm abandoning Tim Hortons. Is, is there one coming to London? I think we'll find out. 